And now, Southern California schools come together to match skills and wits on Kid Quiz. And here to introduce today's participating schools is your host, Maclovio Perez. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to our show. This is Kid Quiz. My associate today is Chucky. All right, Chucky, thanks for helping me out. Here are the cards. Let's welcome to our show our two teams for today, Camino Grove Elementary and Foothill Middle School. Come on board. We want to welcome from the Arcadia Unified School District, Camino Grove Elementary, and Team Captain Alex Hong. Alex, welcome and join okay. introduce us to your first round players. To my right is Karen Lee, and to my left is Chris Sines. All right, Karen and Chris. <laughs> and from the Azusa Unified School District, Foothill Middle School, with Tracy Fenton, Team Captain. Welcome, Tracy. Introduce us to your first rounders. To my right is Jonathan Dempsey, and to my left is Nikki Alvera. Jonathan and Nikki. Right. We're ready to start our show, but before we do, we want to ask Jack, our announcer, to tell us about the winning prizes of the winning school at the end of the season. Here's Jack. This year, our second place school will receive Merriam-Webster's new International Unabridged Dictionary with a beautiful hardwood table. Magnavox's VCR features a unified remote eight-event, one-year programming with on-screen display, slow-mo, and one-touch record from Magnavox. The winning school will receive the superbly illustrated 21-volume New Book of Knowledge Encyclopedia. Accurate and up-to-date information from Grolier Educational Corporation. Something to benefit every classroom. A personal computer for a world of information at your fingertips. The winning school will also take home this beautiful Kid Quiz Championship Trophy. All right. Absolutely. A couple rules for our team players. First of all, hands flat on the white palette. Go for the buzzer when you think you have the answer. If you're incorrect, the other team gets to hear the question. Off stage, we have Dr. Dan Lawson, who's our judge for today. If you are correct, he'll give you a ding. If you're incorrect, he'll give you a dong. Hopefully, we won't have too many of those. Again, last rule for the players, don't uh, wait till I call your name before you answer. Ten point questions, here's the first one for ten points. From literature, in which forest did Robin Hood and his companions live? Alex. Uh, Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest is correct for ten. For 10, name the two countries that became one with the tearing down of the Berlin Wall. Jonathan was first. West Germany and East Germany? Is correct, for 10. Multiple choice on this next one. I'm going to give you three choices. Which of these is a unit of electricity? A watt, a meter, or a liter? Alex. Uh, a watt. A watt is a measurement of electricity. For 10, what is the baby's name in Popeye? Chris. Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is correct. Popeye the cartoon strip. All right, next one is mathematical. Watch this, put your math hats on here. You get one free book when you buy four books. If Joe bought 24 books, how many free ones did he get? A Alex. Six. Six books free. All right. This next one is musical. Let's listen in, and then I'll ask you the question. What kind of dance do you do to this music, Jonathan? The waltz. Hmm. Incorrect. Uh, we go to Camino Grove. What kind of dance would you do to this music, Alex? Polka. The polka is correct. Generally, the waltz is a little slower and a lot more romantic than that. Um, all right, we move along for 10 points. Here's the next question. In bowling, how many pins must you knock over, Chris? 10. To get a strike is correct. I'm glad you knew where I was going there, Chris. All right, next for 10. In the movie Mary Poppins, what makes the medicine go down? Tracy? Sugar. A spoonful of sugar is correct for 10. 
From World Geography, what was Iran called before 1935? Alex. Persia. Persia is correct. For ten. What am I reading when I read the sentence, we the people of the United States, Tracy? The Gettysburg Address. Incorrect. I'm sorry to Camino Grove. Here's the rest of the question. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, from what am I reading? Alex. The Declaration of Independence. I'm sorry. It's the preamble to the Constitution of the United States. The preamble. We the people. All right. The we is in big letters, too. All right. Next for 10 in sports. What do the letters MVP stand for, Chris? Most valuable player. Most valuable player is correct. Next one's two parts. Two parts on this. What are the largest and smallest planets in our solar system, Tracy? Pluto is the smallest and Jupiter is the biggest. Absolutely right. Very good. If you are exercising your triceps and biceps, what part of your body are you working on, Alex? Um, your arm. Your arm is correct. Ah, oh, that's the end of the audio round. And my associate, Chucky, here. There's the questions, and here are the videos. All right, thank you very much. We'll roll on to the next one. 20-point video questions. You watch your monitors. I'll show you the video. Wait three seconds, and then ask you the question. You can anticipate my question, but you can win or lose, depending on how it's written. And here's the first video clue. I have uh, declared a temporary uh, ceasefire. In Haven't read the question, time. but Dan, Alex. Dan Quill. Cannot accept. It's called a change-up pitch in baseball here. The question goes to Foothill. Vice President Dan Quayle questioned the family values of which TV fictional character, Tracy? Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown is correct for 20. All right, here's the next video clue for 20 points. Watch. Here's the question. In the novel Ben and Me by Robert Lawson, Ben is Benjamin Franklin, and me is an animal named Amos. Haven't finished, Alex. Mouse. Uh, Amos is a mouse. Yes, for 20. All right, here's the next one. Four 20 points. What is the name of this weasel-like mammal? Chris? Badger. Cannot accept incorrect. Foothill. What is the name of this weasel-like mammal whose natural enemy is the cobra? Jonathan. The porcupine? Uh, incorrect. The mongoose. The mongoose. Need some more Wheaties for breakfast there, Jonathan. Have to hit it twice. <laughs> All right, here's the next clue. Mathematical watch. What is the answer to this equation? Alex? 53. 53 is correct. <laughs> 7 to the second power is 49. 2 to the second power is 4. 49 plus 4 is 53. All right, here's the next video clue. Let's watch. Jackie Joyner Kersey holds the title of best female athlete in the world after having won the heptathlon in the Summer Olympic Games. How many events in a heptathlon? Alex? Seven. Seven events. <laughs> Next one's multiple choice. I'll give you three choices. What is the white part of the eye called? Is it the cornea, the sclera, or the retina? Alex? The scloria. The sclera is correct. <laughs> Actually, it's retina, not retina. All right, here we go for the next one. Video clue, watch. Paula Abdul was a cheerleader. For the Chris. Lakers. For the L.A. Lakers is correct. <laughs> Next video clue for 20, let's watch. I haven't read the question, Alex. Panama Canal. The Panama Canal. Man-made waterway that connects the Atlantic to the Pacific by way of the Caribbean. Here's the next video clue. Can you name this high area of ancient Athens, which is now the site of famous ruins, including the Parthenon? Anyone? Nobody. Okay, the Acropolis. Acropolis was the highest point of the city where all the famous buildings are still there from many centuries ago. Next video clue. The Chinese grew this purple fruit as early as the 5th century. Alex? Eggplant. The eggplant is correct. 
And my question has always been, why? <laughs> and let's go to the next question. Here's the video clue. Haven't read the question, Alex. Uh, North Star. The North Star of Polaris. The clue was, can you name the star that appears to remain fixed above the North Pole? End of the video round. Sorry, we don't get to any more video clues. Let's go to the bonus question, all right? In the bonus round, team players' hands aside, team captains may buzz in. You may um, answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect or out of the round, the other team gets to answer. You may confer with each other before you answer. For 50 points, the first clue is, give me the name of this leader of the American Revolution who was elected the first governor of Massachusetts in 1780. Nobody goes for it. Second clue, 40 points. From 1774 till 1777, this wealthy Boston merchant served as president of the Second Continental Congress. Who is he? A lot of conferring going on, but no answers. Here's the best, the best clue. When the Congress produced the Declaration of Independence in 1776, his name headed the list. Can you name this man who signed his name in extra large letters, Tracy? John Adams? Oh, incorrect. I'm sorry. Camino Grove? John Hancock. John Hancock is the last for 35. It was close there, Tracy. It was John Hancock. Very large writing. We'll be back with the second half of our game after this message. Don't go too far away. Kid Quiz will be back.